boys and girls, mummies and daddies. Take three for us. We're trying to get this to work out. Cameraman Bobby Bear, he's having some technical difficulties today. Um, we're going to start a little bit further down the road. I've talked you through this much, which you didn't get to see now. But what this is, is leftover cupcakes with the icing on. And I processed them into the food processor. And then I added a little bit more frosting, a little lemon curd because they're lemon cupcakes, and a little bit of cream cheese to cut the sweet. And so I processed it again, and you can see how wet it looks. And then you're going to want to take a little scoop. These are perfect for cookie dough, for meatballs, and scoop out a bunch of scoops. And then form it into a bowl. And if you want to make a cake pop, you're going to add one of these little craft sucker sticks. And let it get real firm before you even try to dip it. So I've done these ahead of time, you can see that. You can also just do cake balls if you don't want to bother with the stick. So what I've done is I've already prepared and got together some of that vanilla confectionery coating. So we know is, is confectionery coating chocolate? It's not chocolate, but it'll do. And so we're going to go ahead and dip some of these that are cooler. Now, whenever you're doing with cake pops, there's always the problem that you'll stick my comb done. So we're gonna hope that that doesn't happen so I don't have to say bold dash in front of everybody again. So I've got my pop in there. Give it a little bouncy bouncy on the surface. And because these are lemon, I want to give a hint to what's inside by the sprinkles I use on the outside. And so we have little yellow sprinkles. Isn't that lovely? It really is lovely. And so you would want that to go ahead and set up in the refrigerator. Now, if you were going to just do a cake bowl, could you give me a fork, Bobby? Is that even fine? It's a fork right here. I'll just take this fork for a cake bowl like you would for a truffle. You're just gonna drop it right in there, give it a sweet thing you. Around she goes. Make sure everything's covered. And then lift it out. A couple of taparoonies. And then let it fall on to the pan. That's all you need to do for that. And then you can just do a couple of sprinklies on the top. That's all that's necessary to do a cake pop. Really quite easy. So if you have extra cake left over, people have given you cake that you really want to repurpose, a wedding cake, that sort of thing, cake pops is a good way to do that. Can cake pops be frozen? Absolutely. I would do uh, the without the sticks, but you can do with the sticks. It's really up to you. When you're using confectionery coating, you don't have to worry about the chocolate blooming, and that's the key, um, the cocoa butter coming to the outside and it looks hideous. The chocolate's still fine, but it just looks hideous. So that's why we use the confectionery coating in those cases. That's cake pops. Now this is called Miss Penny's It's on the Cheap with Flair. So I guess I should have some regular food too. So what we did here yesterday for a lovely Easter meal is I uh, took some uh, breasts of chicken and we pounded them a little bit thinner. We dredged them in flour then an egg, beaten egg, and then I had a concoction of Parmesan cheese and panko coating. And we just dredged in that into a hot pan, and look at the nice crust we got. That's a lovely crust, and the chicken was so tender, wasn't it, Bobby? Yes, it was. And uh, cameraman Bobby is such a great shopper. Sometimes he's been coined the coupon king, I'm just saying. He found some corn. How much was the corn again, cameraman Bobby? Six for a dollar, goodness gracious. Guess who wants to get more corn tomorrow? That's right, cameraman Bobby. And so we're just going to have a cheap, lovely, delicious meal of some roasted potatoes, Parmesan chicken, some corn, I made some deviled eggs, and Bobby's making a lovely big old batch of smashed potatoes for himself. So that's all I have for you today. I'm wishing that you have a bloody, lovely Easter Monday. And I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.